so ugly. I mean, they say it's art. It's not art. It's junk. I can't believe. Look at the price on this thing. Oh my god. I don't know who this guy thinks he is. Why don't the wait, wait, wait. Everybody? Okay, look, I'm the director here. If you don't listen to me, who are you gonna listen to? I want to get the shot. I There is a place you can go to hear yourself think, to quietly energize your imagination, or if you want, to turn it off. Welcome to the magical Five Islands. This is Nova Scotia's Bay of Fundy, less than two hours from New York. Here, the awesome power of the moon over the earth reveals itself twice daily with the ebb and flow of the highest tides on planet Earth. At low tide, you are surrounded by nature's supreme effort at installation art, the ever-changing sandstone spires of Pinnacle Island, the raucous cormorant hatchery on Egg Island, the crown-cut jewel that is Diamond Island, and the eagle-soaring heights of Moose Island. At the center of it all, there is Long Island, the only human habitation on the Five Islands, your private island of escape and catharsis. This is the island with the giant eye, your eye on a panorama of natural wonder and your entry into a private world of creative solitude. Long Island is accessible in about 15 minutes by your staff-operated boat from the mainland, but only on the high tide. Your supplies will make their way up the cliff by hydraulic cable lift. At low tide, the island can be reached by private helicopter from Halifax International Airport, about 20 minutes flying time away. Your own ascent to this Eden on high has been dubbed the 194 step program, guaranteed to enhance self-esteem occasionally to the point of prideful boasting. <sighs> Piece of cake. Out here, the amazing tides are the guardians of your privacy. You have arrived. You're home now, and behind you, the tidal security door closes. Dropping or rising 45 to 55 feet in the space of six hours. At first, the sheer drama of the tides will grip you, but soon it will be the gentle pulse of the ebb and flow that takes hold of your senses, making you an integral part of a natural rhythm millions of years in the passing. Your three-bedroom home on Long Island is solar-driven, you have all the appliances and services you would find in the city. You even have high-speed internet, just in case you do want to communicate with the outside world. Tucked away at the extremities of the island, you have three cottages for coworkers or personal guests. There is plenty of privacy for everybody on your island. Peak Cottage is perched on the cliff overlooking your own massive red sand beach reaching out to the pinnacles. Lighthouse Cottage, at the other end of the island, basks in the sunset glow off Moose and Diamond Islands. Boat Cottage nestles in the forest on the lee side of the island, catching the first sun in the morning. I can tell you've had a good morning. I brought you a coffee. I can't type as fast as the dialogue flows. It's always like that out here. Mm -hmm. 
What would I do without this place? At this rate, I might finish the script this afternoon. So what are you doing this afternoon? Oh, just one last rehearsal of the Satie with Paul. You'll hear it tonight. Ah, save me a seat. Of course. Front row center, darling. Mm. Speaking of the devil, where is Paul? Well, he said he was going to finish his painting of the pinnacles and then have a snooze. <laughs> <laughs> pitch and fouls it deep back into the stand. Hey, can you believe it? I'm finished. The damn thing is on its way to L.A. Good boy. You get the biggest lobster tonight. Why don't you come and help me and Screech celebrate? <laughs> Better hurry. Screech is already into his third peanut colada. I'll wander over and see what the guys are up to. Okay. Whether you need to escape from work or escape to work, this magical island has the powers of catharsis for the creative artist. <laughs> 